my my goal in two weeks is to continue to buy more leads and more leads and down. My goal is to make twenty to thirty thousand, if not more. Ivan, I thank you for being the best coach and others. Hey, what's going on? It's uh, Kevin Aguilar. Um, I just want to talk about my last uh, two weeks and this holiday push challenge. Um, so my whole game plan around it is uh, do some travel trips, make sure I'm getting in front of the most families I can possibly get um, during these last two weeks, and also uh, going to the areas that have the most leads. Uh, that's the whole game plan. Also having the right mindset. Um, the way I want to approach this is um, the families purchasing a special gift of protection during Christmas, so they're giving their family the gift of protection through life insurance um, and just having the right mindset all throughout these last two weeks to set us up for the next uh, year is going to get us. Let's get it. Hey FFL Universe, uh, this is Nehemiah Warren. I'm headed on a travel trip right now uh, trying to take advantage of that holiday push challenge. We've got a lot of people that aren't going to uh, take that next step but I plan on being Hall of Fame next year. It'll be my first full year, so uh, trying to take advantage of the rest of this month to be able to make that happen. I challenge all of you guys to do the same. Let's push hard, finish the year off strong, get uh, 2021 started off right. What's up, everyone? Um, this is gonna be my holiday push um, video. Um, to me, the end of the year is very, very important, as it should be to anyone. Um, but for me, I, I'm planning to kind of face all of the objection and excuses and everything in 29 or 2020. That way, 2021, I'm able to just start on the right foot. Um, so to me, you know, having to work on a weekend rather than a weekday, to me, it's just more opportunity to get better every day. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that. That way, that 2021 is a year for me to remember as well as a year for everyone to remember. Um, and just kind of get on the right foot, get that momentum and just bulldoze through everything that sets me back. So, yeah. Hey everybody, it's David Chewy here. Uh, the end of the year is coming pretty soon, so I'm gonna push to buy as many leads as I can so I can finish out as strong as possible. Uh, other than that though, everybody have a great holiday and let's finish out strong. Hi everyone, Justin Morgan here with Family First Life Universe. We're talking about the 2020 fourth quarter push challenge right and when i'm thinking about that there's really two scenarios you have the scenario where you take a week off you take two weeks off to spend and relax with the family okay meanwhile your personal bills for one are building up for two your lead bill you're gonna have to get some leads at some point to get going again and then for three in the mean in that meantime there you have a scenario where three or four chargebacks could come your way you know so you're looking at just to get started if you did do that option you're looking at like ten thousand dollars just to get started again you know the second scenario would be to push 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 keep working still spend time with family uh, see people on Friday but get back to work that leads momentum for the next you know for this new year coming up and momentum is everything in this business. I think you would all agree. All right, that was my two, two, two cents, guys. Enjoy, have a good day, and hopefully you keep pushing. What's up, everybody? I'm Jose, um, down in FFL, uh, Hidden Gems. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Holiday Push Challenge. Uh, there's a couple things I wanna say about that. Um, first of all, if... Uh, if you have been running appointments and uh, you don't have momentum behind you, in other words, like your numbers aren't consistent over the last couple weeks, consistently going up, or at least uh, consistently at your goal, you know, um, then the the holiday push challenge is, is important because you don't want to uh, take time off to the point where um, you lose whatever little momentum that you might already have because coming into the new year, uh, you want to start that off on the right foot, already having some momentum and, and just kind of building that. And um, so if you if you don't have that momentum behind you, then you should you should be pushing. You should really be pushing and challenging yourself and, and getting more leads and just trying to stay active. Uh, one of the things that I helped me to get my uh, momentum 
was to start running on Sundays. So on Saturday mornings, I would actually take the first couple hours of the morning, anywhere from 7.30 to about 10, 11 o'clock, and I would dial some leads. So Friday, mo Friday night, I would buy some leads. That way, Saturday morning, I had some, and I would just go to the office and dial those for Sunday so I could book um, Sunday. And I would book anywhere from like, you know, anywhere from four to eight, uh, uh, appointments on on Sunday and even start to bleed into like uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday as well but that Sunday is what made a big difference in my in my business is that um, I still have half the day I don't run the whole entire Sunday unless I absolutely need to and my numbers aren't right then I'll plan for that but in, in general um, I, I run the majority of the day that way I still have some time with my family but that made a big difference so you guys that um, are looking to get that momentum or that 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 uh, wind behind your back or, or or underneath your wings whatever you want to call it uh, you need to push hard and challenge yourself and start running those Sundays and, and really really doing that uh, for the rest of us that have that momentum uh, uh, behind your back and you've been doing your numbers and, and everything has been going well then then the the challenge is just to push a little bit more because when when you get complacent and making some money it, it's very easy to say uh you know to justify taking some time off to do holiday shopping or because you you you're you have family uh that are down or you want to visit some family because the holidays is like that it's very get gathering and and being with family so if you do have that momentum, then you have to challenge yourself and push a little bit more to not take that time off and keep that momentum behind you. Because like Ivan was saying, once you lose that momentum, it takes like about four to six weeks, even a little bit more to, to get that momentum back. And, and that really stunts your, your income and, and your game plan and your growth. Um, I, I made that mistake a couple months ago that I, I took a, a two weeks off after doing pretty well. And um, when I came back, it took me almost two months to get my momentum back. So, so without a doubt, um, this holiday season, just keep pushing, challenge yourself, get more leads, uh, run more business, and uh, uh, just try to stay consistent and don't don't let the holidays kind of uh, make you slack off. In other words, because you want to hit 2021 on the ground running, you know, um, and keeping that momentum with you. And you got to also think that there's a lot of people that are are gonna take some time off and if you keep working you're way ahead of them and um i guess last but not least if you don't listen to anything i said that's better for us more more leads for us and more business for us to run so um other than that i want everybody to have uh great holidays happy merry christmas kwanzaa or whatever you, you call it and um uh just buy leads just run business peace Hi guys, here's my push through video. Just wanted to first off start off by saying um, <laughs> that's all I know how to do is push through. I have been pushing through since I started uh, beginning of October and in November. Um, as you know, that's a challenge in itself, but I've continued to push through, trying to make it happen, trying to make some money. Um, daughter got sent to virtual or homeschool learning right before Thanksgiving. Um, pushing through on that. It's exhausting. I'm a third grade teacher now during the week, uh, helping protect families on the evenings and weekends. And to say the least, I'm exhausted, but I keep pushing through. That's what moms know how to do. And that's what I continue to do. Um, I want to make sure that my family has a Merry Christmas and that families are protected and that we get through this rough time. So everyone stay happy, stay healthy and happy holidays. Thanks for the challenge. Hey guys, I wanted to get on here and talk to you a little bit about our Holiday Push Challenge. So, it is a fancy name for working. Working the weekends, working really hard like we've always done. So, it's, uh, I don't want to sound like a guy back in the day we walked through the snow, blah, 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 blah. But I guess I guess that that's what it's going to come off to because we've been we've been always working. Ask anybody that's been around. We've been always working the weekends, holidays, and it pays off massively in the long run. So, but what would working next couple weekends mean to me personally and for all of you guys is 
basically creating a massive amount of momentum going into 2021, guess what? While the competition is slipping, we are working our butts off and you know, we're gonna smoke them. So they, they're gonna relax, take two weeks off, and it's gonna take them probably a month and a half to create that momentum. So it's the easiest you know, thing to do is to lose that momentum and it's the hardest one to get it back. So if you're not working next couple weekends and through the rest of the year and maybe even the New Year's Day, it's gonna literally take you four to six weeks to get the momentum back and the chargeback's gonna roll in. And you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be critical for your business this first couple months of the year. So in order for us to make a make a push uh, to catapult ourselves into our results in 2021, let's just go to work, guys. That's our calling, that's what we do. We are independent contractors, business owners. We are not we're just not relaxing. We're not taking the weekends off. I'm sorry, but if you are, you're going to struggle in 2021. So I'm just being honest, guys. All right. Good luck, everyone. Let us know if you need any help. Merry Christmas, family.